everyone welcome to the channel in this video we will discuss about the data types available in terraform we'll see how many types of data types we have in terraform like any other language terraform also has number of different data types which we can use in our terraform configuration to provision the infrastructure we'll look into those as an example in our demonstration so let's go to the visual studio code and have a look at the different data types which we can provision or we can use in our terraform configuration so here is my repository which we are using for today's demonstration i am into 02 folder which is a data type the link to this repository i'll be sharing in the description as per the terraform documentation we have these many data types first one in the list is the string type of data type we can define the list any string as in data type and you can provide that string value as in variable to your terraform configuration next we have the number data type which will which can hold any numerical values it could be negative number positive number or it could be whole number or decimal number either of the number type will be acceptable by this particular data type next in the list we have the bit data type which is a boolean data type it can hold the bit value true or false if in case if you require to use this particular data type next type we have in the list is the list or also known as the tuple so it can hold the list of a similar type of element so for example list of string values or list of numerical values next we have in the list is the map type also known as the object type so map usually represents the key value pair of data type wherein you define the key as in the string unique value as a key key for uh, your map type which should be unique as in a string value and then you could have a value assigned to that particular key which could be primitive or non primitive i mean the it could be numerical boolean string or it could be a map itself let's look into the demonstration or some of the example of these data type in our program so here in this particular terraform configuration directory i have a variable dot tf let's start from the top i have defined the string type as a variable so to define the type of a string i have given a type as in equals to string this particular variable could hold any value as in a string type next you have the variable example of the numerical type wherein you define type as number and this can hold as i said any number uh, which could be negative number positive number or decimal or floating number i have another example of the same number type and again here i'm defining it as, as a type but the default value i'm giving it as a number but this time i'm providing the number as in double quotes value so terraform is intelligent enough to type cost uh, at the runtime and it will figure it out whether the given default value is a numeric type or not if it is a numeric type it will use that in a program wherever you are using it but if it is a non numerical value for example like this for example, then it will throw an error at the runtime next in the list we have the boolean type so again you can define the boolean type as the value as a true or false or you can define it as a true as false in a double quote as in a string format both of them will be acceptable by terraform terraform will explicitly convert this and to our required type and it will not comp complain in case if you provide the string values as well here in the list we are using the next type as the list of string now if you look at here with the list of string what we are saying is the list should be of string collection and the default value for this list is i have given three element as a list and then one element as the boolean and the other element as the number value now you might say that how the terraform um, you might say that though we have defined as a list as the string but how the terraform will work the uh, on these boolean or numerical type so the answer is same terraform is again evaluate each and every element on your list and it will try to figure it out if it is able to convert into the 
convert it into a string type if it is then it will not complain about it it will accept those values but let's say if one of my list value contains the uh, map type of object for example like this then at the runtime Terraform will not be able to convert this particular list element as in uh, as in a string type and it will throw an error right so passing over any primitive types such as boolean number or string itself terraform will accept those values as in a list of a string and it will work fine but any non primitive object or map type it will complain about it next you can next way to define the similar list type as in any where i can define the any type of list element instead of the type casting any other uh, type i can define the any type so here in this case what i can do is i can define these key elements like this wherein again i can say uh, again there will be a key one and then i'll say value one right this will be acceptable uh, because here we are saying it's not a string type it is uh, it is a reserve keyword here in the terraform like any keyword so what we are saying we we would like to create a list with uh, any data type uh, and here in this case we are using the map object now i cannot pass in this list i cannot pass the element as any string because the objective of the list defining a list type is to you define the similar type of element in your list so if you are defining a list as any string then it has to be all all your element has to be uh, either defined as a string or it it has to be defined as a primitive type so that terraform can convert into a string type but if you are defining some of them element as a primitive type which is string and some of them as a non primitive type which is a map or list, list itself for example in this case i could have a uh, another value as the string itself uh, list inside either list then terraform will complain uh, i'll show you an example of this uh, if i run the terraform plan command with that uh, by the way i'm using this as in i'm just trying to print this these variables here in my main.tf so i have defined all the elements in, here in the print statement now if i run the terraform plan you can see that i we are getting an error because we have one element we are defining as a string another one we are defining as a list itself and then uh, we have a map so it says the default value is not compatible with the variables type constraint because it says all the list element must have the same type and that is where we are having a problem so if you are defining even though if you are trying to say that we'll use any type but those any type has to be uh, compatible with a similar type either all the primitive types or if it is non primitive then it should be a similar uh, type of non primitive should follow the structure right again i'll just remove that for now next in the list we have a data type which is called the map data type map data type is a data type which holds the key and the value pair the key is going to be a string type uh, of key uh, which it should be a unique string across the uh, map collection so if you have uh, different keys inside a map then those key has to be unique for example i have an environment key or center key boolean type key and project key so i cannot have a another environment key with some other value for example value one because in this case terraform will complain that it has not found a unique key so this key value has to be the the text of the key or the key the key value is it has to be unique uh, to use it in the map that have that is something you have to remember but this is really really useful data type which is being used across many many projects because when you use the terraform uh, loop structure then uh, it is really important to know about the map type of object next in the list we have uh, another uh, data type and this time we are creating a open data type or a open uh, object data type uh, and that is why we are defining a type as an any so that it can accept any type of uh, data type so i could have the uh, default uh, the this structure of a data type one element which is of type string another element which is of type boolean and next element is which is of type number and next element is again type of object itself which holds 
again collection of list list of string uh, string itself again list of string again inside the object we have a job object which is a third level if you look at this is a first level second level and then we have a third level third level itself has some of the string collection string itself boolean and numerical values so this is going to be a open data type or open structure of for data type of variable which you may want to use it in your uh, program so for example i may want to use the environment property or i may want to you know create uh, or use the uh, this boolean property or numeric property inside this object so i can define this kind of object variable or you can i can pass the default value or the value this kind of a value uh, to my object in terraform okay next we have the uh, object type where so you define the object type as the specific type as an object and then you have to define the structure of your object which you would like to use it in your program now as you can see that when i define the object i am defining the structure of the object wherein i am saying that i my object would have three different properties first name last name and age what does it means that whenever this variable is required to be used then your program would require to pass all these three properties or, or it cannot have fourth property or and uh, and also at the same time it has to match the data type of this property which has been defined at the object structure level other otherwise it will throw an error so this is how you can define the object type in case if you would like in case if you would like your terraform to follow a specific structure for a given variable then this is a really important factor to consider as an object type now let's look at the uses of these variables so uh, in the main.tf here i have created an output list uh, or uh, output parameters where i'm printing out the valuable uh, value of these variables as you can see uh, i'm printing those list uh, uh, numerical value another example of numerical values boolean list where and here you can see that i'm printing the uh, particular index of the list to print uh, or to get the value of a uh, particular value of a uh, particular to get the value of a uh, particular index from a list you can use it like this you can provide the index in this camp I, in this case i am you trying to retrieve a second index which that is why i have given a value as one as the index start from zero so i am retrieving trying to retrieve a second element of the list next you can define uh next we are trying to read the entire uh any object any type of object and then we are retrieving the map type of object and then uh this is another use case wherein if you would like to read a specific key out of the map then you have to define uh, you can define the or you can use the variable and you can define the key like this in double quotes in the array and that will return the value of the specific key within the map object next we have the any type of example which we are returning so i'll just use it output and at the last within the any type i'm trying to retrieve the any specific property out of uh, the any type so here in this case i'm returning the i'm trying to read the total resource count which is a one of the property of my any type variable as you can see here this is my any type which i'm retrieving it here similarly i can define another object type output type uh, with the uh, output with object output object and i'll use where dot this is how we use the or this is how we return the value where object so i'm returning the object type let's run this uh, program uh, using the terraform plan command and see what is the result we will get i'll just clean this okay we got all the elements from the list so first one is the index of a particular element of the list so we are returning the first second element so value of the second element is one next we have the boolean type which we are returning and next we have a specific key from the map type so we are we were returning the environment key uh, so the environment key value is dev and then we are returning a 
any type list here in that any type we have defined a list of map elements so um, one of the map element is key with a value value then next we have a key one with value one after that we are returning the output of a list of all the data types as you can see that even though we define some of the element we have defined as a string some of them we have defined as number some of them we have defined as the boolean but all of them are converted into a string type because those were the primitive types so terraform intelligently convert those primitive type to the specific type a specific data type as our data type was list of a string so that was it converted into a list of a string next we were we are trying to print a uh, map types so these are our primitive types which are converted into a value as in double quotes even though i have defined as the numerical and booleans but terraform has converted those into a uh, primitive string type of value here we are uh, printing a number type even though we are defined as a double quote as a number but here you can see that double quotes are removed as an output when it requires to be used because terraform knows that this particular variable type was defined as number so it, it is getting used as a number similarly uh, we are using uh, this example we are returning or printing the and uh, floating number which is with the decimal value uh, next we are defining uh, output of an object uh, so it's returning all the properties of an object uh, next is a simple representation of the string type which is representing or which is printing a value uh, as the value of the string uh, data type here is the any type which we are returning it is printing out any elements of the uh, all the elements of the any type and then at the last we are returning a specific element a specific key from any type with an example so you can see that the, our any type contains the key as in resource count so we were returning the resource count here as in 25 that's how it has returned the variable so this is the, these are the variables types in Terraform and this is how you can use the variables in Terraform anywhere in the program. For now in this demonstration, I've just printed out the variable as an output, but you can use these variables anywhere in your Terraform program the way I have defined it. I hope you have found this useful. I'm sharing this examples in the GitHub repository. Please do found, uh, please to refer the github repository link which is given in the description and let me know if you have any queries please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already see you in the next video